hello guys welcome to my channel so today i'm making a tutorial on how to send background notification to our chat app whether it's a private chat app or if it's a business a shoe app a shoe store a product or whatever business you have so this tutorial is for you if you want to send and receive background notification from users app to admin app or from users app to users app it works in all cases as long as the app is in background so please all you need to do is support me by subscribing and turn on notification bell so we have four four edit text one is the title the title can either be the name of the product or the username if it's a chat app the username the message can either be describing the product name describing the product sorry or if it's a chat app is the message itself hello john how are you doing image you are ready is op optional is optional it can be any image an icon that is in a url why this icon name must be an image file that is inside your app it must be present in the doorable of your of your of your app and this is where all images in doorable are so the image must be available so we are going to test it now okay john let's say this is a chat app john hello it's me your friend john so i'm going to use any random url you can use any image url so icon on the so i'm going to put this as icon underscore name So like I said, the image must be present. The image must be present. So as you can see, I you can see there is it. There is it. When we click on the message, it will open our app. So that is it. I'm going to show us how we can do this in SketchWay. So any name you put here, if I change the name to app underscore icon image url message shoe blocks black shoe we are going to notice a change in the messaging format so we can see the icon name is green the icon color now is green is not the black icon as you can see we're going to show us how we can do it in sketchway first we create our sketchway products and connect our app to firebase by enabling our library we're going to enable the library please if you are downloading this project or check these libraries to reduce your app size if these libraries are not necessary added them for the purpose of the sketchway version i'm using so i added I changed some libraries which required me to add this library, but if you are using the default latest sketchway pro, you don't need these two libraries. But in case you encounter error, please check them back. So I added for edit text, for edit text box, title, message, image URL, send message. When we click on the send message button, I've already created a more block. I've created a more block. So it's going to send data based on the data entered in our edit text one, which is our title, body, which is the message edit text two, icon. The icon, like I said, it must be it must be an icon file present in our app. It must be an image file present in our app. Image is just an image URL, it's not composing notification type okay let me explain this notification type first i created a string a string variable we come to our create we come to our create notification type of two in firebase messaging we have to user that you can use it we have notification type for sending to user or to admin or user to user or admin to user or user to admin or we have group of users that is you can use it if you have a group chat or you want to send it to all your 
subscribers of your app all the people that use your app so you, you, have, you can subscribe them to a, a group or if you have a group chat immediately they join the group chat you subscribe them to a group name in firebase messaging we have something called group name you subscribe them so anytime somebody posts it will notify them automatically so i created a notification type so in this tutorial our notification type is just the user so you can see the notification type is just a single user you can use it to send to a single user or an admin or or your fellow user as the case may be then i created a st another string called legacy underscore server underscore key this is our key present in our in our firebase console to get it to head over to your project your project the project settings then you will see a tab layout and under is called tab layout under the tab layout section you check for the the firebase cloud messaging section and copy your your server key so your server key is what you paste here but for security purpose our advice you save it in a server that is you can save the server key in a server and query for the key in on child added as the case may be but for this tutorial there is no need of that so first of all i initialize this by adding this code so this code is not necessary just for the ui it's not compulsory so with that being said and done that is all please subscribe and support me by subscribing turn on notification bell and sharing this video thank you for watching tutorials uh sorry project is available on sketchly